Asante sana kwa wakulima ambao mnajiunga nasi siku ya leo. Kwa, kwa siku ya leo tumekuja kujifunza kuhusu mmea ambao unaoona nyuma yetu hapa. Na tutaanza kujifunza tuko hapa na mwalimu wetu mwalimu Anthony na pia tuko pia na wakulima ambao wameweza kutumia uh, hizi mbolea za yara. Lakini cha muhimu ambayo tungependa kusitizia kuwa Najua tayari mnaifahamu mbolea ya yara lakini leo tuna ile product mpya ambayo tumewaleteni nyinyi wakulima ndio muweze kuboresha ukulima wenu. For those who are joining us, welcome to the Yara Kenya live show. Today we have a host of activities just to make sure that you are able to learn how best you can improve your productivity. We have here our teacher, teacher Anthony, and we have our farmers who've used these products and will show you how best you can optimize your production using Yara Crop Nutrition Solutions. Kwa hivyo labda tukianza ningeanza kumwangazia mkulima hapa. Asante sana kwa kutukaribisha katika shamba lako. Labda tunapoanza utuambie majina yako ni nani hapa ambapo tupo ni wapi na huu mmea umekuza mmea kwa muda gani na umetumia mbolea ya yara kwa muda gani yeah. karibu sana mkulima asante sana kwa majina mimi naitwa Philip Ngetich family name ni Jepses mali tuko ni Soi hapa ni Wasingishu county so, Soi sub county Soi ward Kaboy village hapa ni kwangu hii shamba ni yangu Eh, nimewahi lima nimelima tuseme 20 years now down the line. Mimi mm -hmm. ni mkulima wa mahindi na ngano. So uh, nilianza uh, kulima nikitumia mbolea kadhaa lakini 7 years now nimewahi tumia mbolea ya yara. Chusi nikaanza na seed lift Tuseme hii shamba yangu yote sasa mkiangalia hivi ni yara program. Nilianza na seed lift. Alafu nikakuja crop boost. Alafu finally sasa nika top trees na ambidas. Mpaka stage yenye mnaona saa hii ni product tatu imetumika kwa shamba yangu. Nimesema ni seed lift, crop boost na ambidas. Na mbolea yenye nilitumia kwa shamba yangu I mean nilitumia yaramila power. Naam. Eh nilitumia yaramila power kumi kwa shamba yangu hii. Nika top dress na mita 9 na mnaona mahindi vile iko. Yeah. Na umesema kwa umekuwa ukitumia mbolea yara kwa miaka saba sasa. Labda utueleze umeona kulingana na ile program ambayo ulikuwa unatumia awali na ukilinganisha na program ya RJ umeona tofauti? Ya yeah, nimeona tofauti kubwa sana. Naam. Awali huwa nikifuna tuseme 15 to 20 bags per acre. Lakini nilipoingia program ya Yara last year 2020. Yeah. Two years back Naam. nilifuna nilikongoa kwa acre moja for 1 bags. Weather ilikuwa mzuri. Mm -hmm. 2021 weather haikuwa mzuri nikafuna 35 bags. Mm -hmm. So niliona tofauti kubwa sana. That's why nimetumia Yara products kuanzia zero mpaka set mpaka mwisho mpaka mwisho labda tunapoendelea ningependa uongeleshe wakulima ambao wanajiunga nasi kwa sasa kwa sababu wana maswali chungu nzima wanashangaa wakati mwingine wanaambiwa watumie mbolea ya yara lakini wewe kama mkulima ambao umetumia mbolea ya yara unaweza himiza wakulima ambao labda wanatutizama katika mitandao ya kijamii siku ya leo nini utaweza kuambia kwa wakombeaji ndio sasa e, ujumbe ya wakulima wangu wenzangu nikataka ni, niweleza kwamba Yara products is real. Mm -hmm. And this is practical. I'm not exaggerating. Mm -hmm. Nikisimama hivi, eh, mtu mwingine anaweza sema pengine mimi nasema uongo. Mm -hmm. Lakini mahali niko sahihi ni shamba yangu. Nimetumia program Yara tangu eh, kupanda eh, seed lift, mbolea ya mila power na top tracing ni amidas. Chenye ni naimiza tu wakulima wajaribu kutumia mbolea ya yara na wataona tofauti sana si semi watumie complete kama huwa ukitumia tuseme product nyingine kama DAB tafadhali kama uko na eka tano kawa kidogo weka patia yara product alafu ingine uendelee alafu next year utajionea majabu kweli yeah asante sana kwa hivyo mkulima umesikiliza kama bado unabahatisha Changamoto ni kwako. Unaweza ukajaribu na jinsi mkulima amesema, 
uweze kugawanya shamba yako uweke mbolea ya yara na nyingine uweke zile programu zingine ambazo bado unaweza ukaziweka uka lakini utakuwa wewe ndio judge ambe, uh, na uweze kujionea mwenyewe ni gani itafanya vizuri lakini mkulima amesema kabisa kwa hakika mbolea ni nini mbolea yeah. ni yara asante sana kwa hivyo ningependa nirudi kwake mwalimu kidogo Na mwalimu siku ya leo tumekaribishwa sana na mkulima tayari ametuweka huru na tunashukuru sana kwa kutuwalika labda utuambie tu kwa kifupi tu kabla twende kwa mapumziko kidogo alafu tuturejee tuambie leo tunaangazia kusoma nini na tutaangazia kuona nini tuliambiwa tulipokuja kuna ile shamba ambalo tupo ambapo wametumia programu ya yara na ile ambayo haijatumika kwa hivyo tunaangazia kujifunza nini siku ya leo na tutarajie nini kwa wale ambao wanajiunga nasi siku ya leo Asante uh, sana Bwana Rogers kwa majina naitwa Anthony Okech na nitakuwa mwalimu wa sika leo kwa swala lako ambao mmeweza kuuliza ni aswa wakulima watakuwa wanajifunza nini siku ya leo uh, jinsi ambao umesikia mkulima amesema ametumia products ya yara kwa miaka saba sasa lakini miaka saba iliyopita kuna product ambayo ametumia mwaka huu ambao haukuwa mahala pale alisema ni seed lift Mm -hmm. Hii seed lift ndio ile mbolea ambayo nitazingatia ana kwa ufupi tu acha niseme ni mbolea ambayo tunatumia ku dress mbegu it's a seed dresser yeah. uh, tunatumia ku dress hiyo mbegu yetu kabla tuweze kuupanda ningependa kuizungumzia kwa upana na marefu wa siku ya leo yeah. alafu tutaunganisha pamoja na hizi mbolea zingine ambayo mkulima anaweza kutumia ili tuweze kuona jinsi ambayo tunaweza kuboresha mazao yetu yeah. na mapato yetu kama wakulima. Asante, Asante sana. Wewe unayejiunga nasi kama una maswali, yana kile yale maswali pale chini katika mitandao ya kijamii ya Yara, tutaweza kuku jibu katika yale maswali yote ambayo uko nayo. Asante sana. Endelea kuwa nasi. Tunaenda kwa mapumziko kidogo tu alafu tarejea. Utaweza ku, kuhusu kujua kuhusu huyu mnyama ambaye tunamuita seed lift ama hii mbolea ambayo inaitwa seed lift ambaye mwalimu ataweza kuangazia kwa kwa marefu sana. Kwa hivyo asanteni kuwa nasi. Tunarudi katika baada ya mapumziko. Asanteni sana. Iko sawa. Kabisa.
Asante sana kwa wewe ambaye bado unajiunga nasi. Leo tuko hapa katika mtaa wa Kaboi. Na tumeweza kuja na tuko na mwalimu hapa mwalimu Anthony ambaye ataweza kutupeleka moja kwa moja kuhusu upanzi wa mahindi kutumia mbolea ama programu ya yara. Na jinsi unaona hapa tuna mbolea kadhaa na ataweza kuzizungumzia kwa kina sana. Na pia tuna ile product ambayo tuliwaambia kuwa ni product mpya ambayo inaitwa uh, seed lift. Na hayo yote mwalimu ataweza kuyaangazia. Kwa hivyo wewe ambaye labda ndio unajiuka nasi kwa sasa, tungependa kusema ni asante kwa kuja sasa. Karibu sana. Lakini kile ambacho pia tungependa kuambia kama wakulima, ukitaka kuboresha uh, mmea wako, jinsi mkulima alivyosema, mbolea ni yara. Lakini kama bado unatashwishi na bado labda unataka kukuelewa zaidi ndio ndio jukumu ya mwalimu siku ya leo kuweza kutufunza kuweza kutuelimisha kuweza kutuwezesha kupata ile maarifa ambayo itaweza sisi kama wakulima tuweze kuimarisha kilimo yetu kwa hivyo mwalimu labda nikukaribishi utuambie majina yako jitambulisha kwa wao ambao wanatutizama siku ya leo waambie kwanza kwa kidogo tu ama kwa kifupi tu kusina na yara ndiposa tuende kwa masomo ya siku ya leo ah asante sana ah kwa siku ya leo na fursa huu kuweza kutuelimisha kuhusu bidhaa zetu za yara kwa majina naitwa Anthony Okech nafanya kama technical agronomist kwa kampuni ya yara kampuni ya yara ilianzishwa in 1905 uh, kule Norway na watu watatu na hivi sasa imeshakuwa Kenya for over 20 years about 26 years now and hapo uh, mbeleni tulikuwa tunajulikana na majina mengine sana sana Kenya tulikuwa tunaitwa tumejulikana na jina la chapameli kuna wale ambao wamejua ile mbolea ya chapameli wanasema wakitaka kupanda mbolea lakini ilifika wakati ambao kampuni hii ya Yara walikuwa nataka kwa kila taifa wawe na jina moja na waliweza kuamua ilo jina likuwe Yara na ile tagline yetu kama Yara ni kwamba knowledge grows. Ukiona Yara hapo chini tumeandika knowledge grows. Uh, ishara kwamba tunazingatia ma maarifa sana. Tukitaka kukuza bidhaa vizuri na tuweze kupata mazao mazuri, basi lazima tu, tujifunze kuhusu ya uh, udongo, tujifunze kuhusu mimea ambayo tunakuza na tujifunze pia kuhusu ali ya hanga na ile environment yetu yeah. tuki combine uh, maneno hayo yote mm -hmm. tunaweza kukuza mimea vizuri na tukaweza kupata mazao mazuri yeah. so yara iko mahala pale kila ambao tunazingatia ni kwamba we must responsibly field the world right. while taking care of the environment yeah. Uh, na tukiangalia kwamba kila siku the population ya ulimwengu inaendelea kukua kweli na tunaenda bimiza na kukuomba ya kuwa kama haujafuata uh, hizi pages za Yara katika mtandao ya kijamii please follow Yara on Yara Facebook Yara Twitter and Yara on uh, on YouTube be sure that with Yara knowledge grows kwa hivyo mwalimu labda tukianzia tu hapa mkulima aliweza kusema ameweza kutumia hizi of excellence mm -hmm. kuna shamba kadhaa kwa eneo tofauti tofauti ambao tunashagua shamba ambao tunaweza kutumia mm -hmm. ili kuweza kufanya utafiti na pia kuleta wakulima kuwafunza mm -hmm. uh, jinsi ya kulisha mimea yako vizuri mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo sio kuleta tu product yao, lazima utafiti ufanywe. Kweli. Naam. Kabla tuleta hii product tuanze kuiuza, tumeshaufanyia utafiti majaribio Naam. na tumejua jinsi ambayo inaweza kuperform na itaongeza mazao jinsi gani ama kama ifanyi vizuri pia tutaweza kujua na tuone jinsi ambayo tunaweza kuimprove. Kweli. So wakati huu hiyo uh, center yetu of excellence si mbali na mahala hapa, ni karibu mm. pengine kilomita tano ah, kutoka hapa. Okay. Na huyo ni moja wapo wa wale beneficiaries ambao yeah. waliweza kujifunza mm -hmm. kuhusu hii product ya seed lift kutoka yeah. kwa hiyo center of excellence. Mm. Uh, na tunaita kwa urefu yara vita seed lift. Yara vita seed lift. Yes, no. hivyo ndio inajulikana lakini kama wa Kenya tunatafuta njia mkato ya kuita vitu. Sasa tumeita seed lift. No. So unaweza kusikia pengine nikifunza nasema yara vita seed lift ama nasema seed lift, seed lift. No. kwa sheria na maanisha kitu mo? kitu moja. Kitu moja. Oh. Ndio. Na hii hapa labda hapa. Mtu wangu wa kamera anaweza kaiona vizuri. Hii ndio product ambayo tunaizungumzia kwa sasa na mwalimu ataweza ku eleza zaidi kwa kina gaubaga na kutufunza kwa hivyo mwalimu wakati ni wako sisi leo ni wanafunzi wako asante sana <laughs> uh, kila ambao nitasema pengine kwa kuanzia tulifunzwa shuleni ni mzuri no. kujua maana ya kitu ambao unaiongelelea no. kisha unaweza kuichambua zaidi mm -hmm. 
tukiangalia e seed lift ni nini mtu akikuuliza ya ravita seed lift ni nini no. uh, ya ravita seed lift uh, kwa ufupi naweza kusema kwamba uh, wacha nitumie lugha ya kimombo no. it's a no. concentration uh, uh, kile ambao suspension concentrate right. ambayo iko na biostimulant mm-hmm. na iko na starter nutrients ambayo inaweza kusaidia huo huo mbegu yako ipate early strong growth so it's a suspension concentrate seed dresser okay. uh, ya ravita seed lift ingawaje ni mbolea tunatumia ku dress mbegu tunatumia wakati ambao tuna tuna coat na ile mbegu kabla tupande oh. moja tumezoea mara mingi mtu akiangalia mbolea ni ile mbolea ya kuweka wakati kupanda yeah. ama ya kunyunyunzia wakati wa kutop dress mm. ama ile ya kupiga kama folia yeah, lakini kuna aina nyingine ya mbolea unaweza ku ku coat nayo mbegu yako mm. so ya ravita seed lift ina hiyo ndio maana yake suspension concentrate yeah. uh, seed dresser no. ambayo iko na biostimulant right. na nitaongelea hizo vitu ambazo zimewekwa kule ndani no. na pia iko na madini yeah. uh, kadhaa ya kuwezesha mimea yako kukua mzuri no. na pia labda unapendelea kutufunza mwalimu utaweza labda kutueleza pia kwa 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 urefu pia kuhusiana na matumizi yake mkulima akinunua kama labda hii ni sijui lita ngapi lita 10 lita 10 ataweza yeah. kutumia kwa kiasi gani kwa kiwango gani aliyakiwa na mbegu gani hayo yote labda utaweza kuangazia ukiendelea kutufunza mwalimu asante so nikiendelea tu kuangalia hii product yetu ambayo tunaita seed lift wacha niseme kwamba nimesema ndio ni iko na biostimulant no. hii biostimulant inasaidia mimea yako kuweza kustahimili tunaona kwamba tumekuwa na changamoto mingi huku uh, Kenya uh, majira yamebadilika mazingira yamebadilika yeah. kitambo wa kulima alikuwa anajua ikifika tarehe 25 mwezi wa tatu no. naweza kuanza upanzi wangu wa mahindi lakini siku hizi inaweza kufika mwezi wa nne lakini dalili ya mvua bado haijakuepo uh, pia mimea yako inaweza kuwa umepanda kule vizuri alafu no. katikati kuwe na um, msimu wa kiangazi no. mimea sasa inaanza kukua affected uh, tukiangalia saa zingine tunaweza kuwa tena mvua ikue mingi sana hata uenda wakati wa kuvuna unapata mvua umekuwa yeah. mingi kabisa yeah. uh, tunaangalia pia siku hizi tumekuwa na changamoto tumekuwa na wadudu ambao tukua nao kule mbeleni kama fall army worm tumekuwa na wadudu kama african army worm ambao tumekuwa na juzi juzi na tuki, tukiangalia pia tumekuwa na magonjwa kama GLS na tukiwa na wadudu na pia tukue na magonjwa kila ambayo inamaanisha ni hii mkulima ataenda kutafuta dawa ile ambayo tunaita pesticide ya kupiga kwa uh, mimea wake so tumeongeza chemical load kwa mimea ili tuweze kuvuna na wakati tunaweka hiyo kila ambayo inafanyika ni kwamba mimea inapitia stress changamoto kivi yake so ukiweka hii biostimulant ambayo tumeweka kwa seed leaf inasaidia mimea kustahimili mazingira kama haya uh, to better tolerate the changing environment yeah. the chemical load that we are having mm-hmm. and that's why we have to put a biostimulant because we understand yeah. that the environment and the climate uh, is kind of changing so yeah, it is changing for sure. <laughs> so we want the crop wakati kuna kuna kuwa na hizo changamoto mimea ina jset tu inakaa inasema ah mambo iko sa mambo iko sa hiyo ndio kazi ya biostimulant ambayo tunataka kwa easy to feed so ni kitu ya maana sana na tunatumia ile yara technology ya biotin biotin ayara tunatumia kwa tumia kwa easy lift uh, biostimulant uh, tukiendelea jinsi ambayo nilisema pia iko na starter nutrients iko na madini so atukweka tu biostimulant peke yake lakini tulizingatia kwamba huu mimea ambao unaenda kukuza inataka madini fulani for the early growth jinsi tu mtoto akizaliwa utapata anaweza kunyonya eh, anapata ile chakula chake ya kwanza kwanza baada ya miezi sita anaanza kulishwa hata sisi kwa mimea tunataka ile starter nutrient ambayo mimea itaweza kuanza nayo kabla iweze kupata ile mbolea ambayo uliweka wakati wa kupanda na kwa hii starter nutrient tumeweza kuweka nitrogen iko mahali pale kwa kiwango ya 15% tumeweka phosphorus in the form of P2O5 iko hapo 26% tumeweka calcium oxide Uh, na hii calcium oxide tumeweka about uh, 16% yeah. kwa hiyo uh, seed lift na pia tumeweka zinc yeah. zinc tumeweka kwa kiwango ya 27.5% mm-hmm. alafu tukaongeza kitu pala ambao watu wengi hawajaiona kwa mbolea yoyote mm-hmm. inaitwa organic carbon right. organic carbon tumeweka kwa asili 107% 7% tumeweka hizi starter nutrients yeah. ukiangalia hayo madini ambayo nimetaja nikitaja madini kama manne 
haya madini manne yanatakikana sana wakati mumea unaanza kukua uh, ukiangalia kama nitrogen ni kama ile energy kama ndio glucose ya mimea tukiangalia ile phosphorus ambayo tumeweka pa mahali pale inafanya kazi pamoja na zinc ile tuweze kuwa na root establishment mzuri na tukiwa na root establishment mzuri inamaanisha kwamba huo mumea ambao unakuza utaweza kuvuta maji na madini mengine kutoka kwenye udongo vizuri kama root yako haiko vizuri ama hiyo mizizi yako haiko vizuri uta mimea wako utaweza kuvuta nutrients vizuri kutokana kwa huo mchanga ukienda tena tukaweka calcium ala pale calcium inasaidia uh, na immune system ina boost like immune system ya huo huo mimea wakati unaanza ku better resist disease pia inatumika kuhakikisha kwamba the cell structure ama cell wall structure ya mimea iko sawa so wakati mimea inakuwa itakuwa na uafifu wote bali utaweza kumea vizuri so hii haya madini ambayo tumeweka inaenda kusaidia mimea kwa jinsi bora so tuliangalia tu kuweka tu kila kitu naona hapa tujaweka potassium hatujaweka sulfur mahala pale hatujaweka boron mahala pale tumechagua ile madini ambayo mimea inataka ama hiyo mbegu itahitaji kujaminate na kuanza kukua vizuri kabla ianze kukula lishe kutoka kwenye udongo. Asante sana mwalimu. Kweli umesema maneno mengi ambayo ni athamana sana kwa kukuza uh, mmea wa mahindi. Na pia umezingatia sana kuhusiana na yale ambayo yametiwa katika bolea hii. Na labda ningependa kwa kifupi tu wazungumze na wale wa ambao wanatizama kutoka nyumbani kwa kimombo tu uh, uweze kuorodhesha jinsi umeorodhesha yale madini ambayo yapo katika hii mbolea. Niposta nao pia waweze kuelewa vizuri zaidi. Asante uh, sana. Uh, what uh, I've been saying is that uh, Yaravita uh, seed lift is a suspension concentrate uh, seed dresser that has biostimulants uh, that help the crop to better uh, adapt to the changing climate and even the chemical load that you are giving to the crop when you are spraying for the pesticides and even when you are doing the herbicides. Also uh, it contains uh, starter nutrients that gives the crop an early uh, better crop growth. Mm -hmm. So when the crop is planted you love a good crop establishment. Uh, I've also spoken about uh, the the challenges that we are facing indeed as as far you know, climate change we have new pests uh, arriving especially for maize production. We this year we had the African armyworm uh, before that we had the fall armyworm and then uh, these pests were not there yeah. and for you to control them you need pesticides and these are chemicals that you are spraying to our crops that we never used to spray yeah. and it's a new stress that you're adding to the crop but uh, we have put the biostimulant to help the crop better uh, be better adapted or better tolerate these stresses so that even though there's the stress that has been introduced to it the crop can still uh, continue with its normal production cycle and give us a better yield uh, i talked about the nutrients that we have in the yaravita seed lift we have nitrogen uh, phosphorus in the form of p2o5 calcium in the form of calcium oxide we have also put a zinc and we added organic carbon now let me just talk something about the organic carbon the organic carbon uh, helps to improve the soil uh, the soil health how organic carbon comes in uh, to help the the soil water holding capacity and also the aeration so this helps to improve the soil structure when we have a better soil structure and the soil can hold more water it can preserve moisture uh, which will be beneficial when we have in drought uh, when they have better aeration then the roots uh, can better develop in the soil so we added also this organic carbon intentionally to take care of our soil. That's why we talk as Yara, you know, responsibly feeding the world while yeah. taking care of the environment. Right. The soil is the environment for the crops. So we also need to take care of it so that we can be able to uh, improve our next season's production. So that is, uh, in short, about what Yara uh, Vita seed lift is. Yeah. I'll just be able now to expand on a few aspects of it as, right. we, as we go on. Thank you. Thank you very much, Anthony. I think that was really, really informative. And I think for sure with Yara Knowledge Grows, everything and everything that you do, all the products that you're bringing come from a science perspective. And it's all about research. It's all about making sure that we make sure that our farmers are improving their yield 
but as they're improving their yield, they're doing it responsibly while still protecting the environment. So for you who is joining us, we still continue to welcome you. We are here for the Yara Crop Nutrition Pro Maize Crop Nutrition Program, and today we are focusing on giving a spotlight on the new Yara Vita Seed Lift, which, like has been said by our, by our teacher Anthony, is a new product that Yara has introduced into the market that is going to uh, change how we as farmers are producing maize and how better we can make our production optimal. So thank you very much for those who are still joining. I just want to see from our social media platforms who has joined. So I'll request my, my co-host to just share with me uh, to see who, who, are, who, are, who has joined us. Aha, uh -huh. let me see. I can see we have different people who've joined. Quite wow. amazing. Um, wow. Thank you again for joining. So let me give just a few shout outs, uh, Molimo. We have Lewis Gambo who is saying very impressive. So already is very happy with what kind of information he's listening into. We also have Kip Kosgei. Abraham, who is saying Bolea Niara, so I must, must be a farmer who has used this particular product. We also have um, Judith, where and how can I get Yara in Uganda? Yeah, and then uh, she's also saying thanks, but Swahili, that's why I think it was very important for us to also um, chime in a little bit of English. Yeah. I can also see Rotich Kipkemboi saying Yara fertilizer ni mamboyote. I can also see, um, who do we have here? Susan, great field day. Good job, Mr. Agriculture. Also just giving a shout out to our colleague Rogers there. We also have Geoffrey Mburu, who is saying, very impressive. So Mwalimu, uko na wanafunzi hapa mbao, wanafuatilia kabisa na wanazingatia yala yote mbao na yasema. Kwa hivyo, asante sana na kuendelea kutufunza. Labda, nikirejea kwa kwa Mwalimu, umezungumza kuhusu hizi product na kuna hile swali ambayo tayari mkulima anauliza kwa umemuimiza kutumia hizi, hizi mbolea. Lakini swala lake ni akiwa Uganda, anaweza kapata hizi mbolea wapi. Labda pia wala mbao labda wako Kenya na wana maswali kama haya. Hizi product zayara. Tayari washa pata ile hamu ya kuzitumia, watazipata wapi. Uh, asante sana. Uh, kila mbao nitasema kwamba uh, mbolea zetu zayara ziko nchini Uganda. Mm -hmm. uh, tuko na distributors ambao wana bida zetu. Mm -hmm. Kule mbale, tuko na distributors ambao wakona bida zetu kule Kampala kwenyewe hata kisonga karibu uh, uh, mkono kuna wale ambao wako na bidhaa zetu kule Uganda uh, kila ambao tu tunaweza kumwambia mwenzangu ambao umeulizia akienda kwa hao distributors labda tuzungumze naye kwa lugha ya kimomo ile aliweza kuwa hapa tuzungumze naye kwa lugha ya kimomo kweli yes we have our products in Uganda and uh, we have distributors, these are our stockies, people who buy fertilizer from us as a company mm -hmm. and uh, they go and trade with it, either as wholesalers or retailers. Mm -hmm. We have some distributors uh, located in uh, Kapchorwa, we have others located in Mbale, we have others located in Kampala mm -hmm. and, uh, and uh, many other parts of Uganda. Yeah. And uh, I can assure her that Yara products are already in Uganda. Okay. She just needs to, uh, maybe we liars with her and we'll be able to respond to her uh, where exactly she is within Uganda mm -hmm. and the nearest distributor to her, then right. we can refer her right. uh, that way to get our product. Thank, Thank you very much, Molemu. I can also see, just let me give one shout out, just to see how, be, how deep this, uh, this session is going. We have somebody by the name Munyao Davis joining in all the way from Australia. Wow. Thank you very much for joining. Hiyo ndio hamu ambao wakulima wakonayo kuweza kujifunza kuhusu hii mbolea. Kwa hivyo, labda ni kurenirejee kwa kumalimu, uneza ukaendelea. Jinsi ya bao nilikuwa ni mezungumuza mbolea, hii mbolea yetu ya Yaravita Seed Lift. Tuleza kufanya utafiti mwaka jana na tukaweza kuja na ile ripoti na ripoti ilikuwa mzuri. Kwa maindi tulikuwa tunaweza kuongeza mazao na asili mia tano nukta moja, 5.1% yield increase. 
yeah. uh, tulipofanya utafiti pia kwa bale kwa bale tuliweza kuongeza mazao na asili mia uh, 12% mm, yield increase right. uh, just by adding yara vita seed lift yeah. in the nutrition program right. everything else remained constant right. the only thing that we changed was in one trial we added yara vita uh, seed lift right. and uh, when we had this and we also had some good responses with wheat in some cases recording 10% yield increase right. so we said because this thing is working yeah. and uh, we have g uh, seen this uh, as good knowledge why can't we share it with the farmers because mm -hmm. what we want is to be able to increase the yield of the farmer per unit yeah. area right that is when now the farmer can be more profitable right. and he can look at agriculture yeah. as an agribusiness venture sure. somewhere where if i invest my time and my resources right. i will get good profit sure. so that is what uh, after that we decided to launch this product uh, nationally uh, nationally yeah. and uh, we had it also in the media international internationally right. and uh, we did that uh, this year in february yeah. again in wasingishu county ah. yes so uh, this uh, really gave traction to yeah. yaravita uh, cities and what what are some of the things that we are able to see yeah. what are some of the advantages or rather right. the benefits of using yaravita seed lift yes. so uh, let me just talk about five uh, benefits mm. one we are able to see that the germination uh, the germination was super in the fields where we use yaravita seed leaf yeah. compared to other fields right. even here if you can just look at the the crops right. and look at the the germination you can yeah. look at we had proper and good germination yeah. uh, when yeah. we use yaravita seed leaf right. the second advantage that we have is uh, the yaravita seed leaf uh, helps with uh, the proper utilization of nutrients yeah. so we have a uh, good nutrients uptake yeah. because as i mentioned we it's going to help better develop the roots and when you have better root development then there is better nutrient use efficiency because the crops can take up water and nutrients better from the environment i also talked about the organic carbon you know the organic carbon and how it improves the soil health right. so yaravita is a product a fertilizer mm -hmm. that not only benefits the crop but also benefits the soil, the soil. so the soil also is uh, getting some advantage right. by us using this kind of product yeah. uh, we also talked about the climate change and the and the chemical load that we have on the on the crop and the uh, the seed lift helps the crops to better tolerate or adapt to these climate change issues right. so if you look at uh, uh, these advantages what yeah. we end up with is a strong healthy crop like the one you can see behind me right. uh, very dark green and if you have a strong healthy crop then we can project good yields sure. and if we are able to project good yield then it's more profitable to the farmer. to the farmer so i can enumerate those five as advantages that we will enjoy and the soil will enjoy by just adding yaravita seed lift right. into our cropping program so that is uh, something that uh, I really wanted to look at. So I know some farmers were, or some people will ask, yes, you talked about this, but how, how, how do I use it? Right. Uh, what, what rates do I, I use it at when you know, applying to different seeds? Yeah. So I like to say that for now, yeah. uh, from our research, Yaravita seed lift is right. for dry seeds dry seeds uh, basically things like the cereals are dry seeds you know cotton uh, dry seeds so we are using it for dry seeds and majorly we've gone the cereal they're slightly big seeds we've not yet uh, done it on uh, on uh, horticulture seeds because they're slightly smaller but it's something that is in the pipeline and once uh, some of our research comes out will be able to share those findings with the farmers. Right. So uh, let me just talk about maize. When you're using uh, the Yaravita seed lift on maize, yeah. we use a rate of eight liters per ton of seed. Uh -huh. So eight liters will address one ton of seed, which is equivalent to 1,000 kilos, uh, 1,000 kilos of seed. Of seed yeah. And uh, 1,000 kilos of seed at a seed rate of 10 kilos per acre, that means that if we go with this uh, container of 10 liters right. is enough to dress seed that will uh, cover 125 acres oh. so as as little or as small as it looks <laughs> it will cover 125 acres this yeah. farm uh, here behind us is about six acres yeah. so you can calculate work the math how yeah. much seed lift was used, was used uh, right. in this uh, uh, that uh, we use all in maize, yeah. and it's the same rate we use in cotton. For yeah. those who are interested in uh, in growing cotton, cotton yes. when you come to wheat, uh, wheat and barley, 
when you come to to wheat and barley what's yeah. what's our seed what's our rate we rate. use a rate of six liters per ton of seed oh. again six six uh, liters uh, yes for a thousand kilos of seed yeah. if you go it for with uh, uh, for wheat that as at a rate of uh, 50 kilos per acre planting right. then it means that we are talking about uh, 20 acres mm -hmm. yeah so we this uh, 10 liter uh, six liters is, it, it will be able to cover for us about 20, 20, 20 acres. acres right. So when you work the maths for 10 liters, the coverage is quite, it's quite high. Yeah. What, what are we trying to say by this? We need a small amount yeah. of Yara Vita seed lift to make a big difference. <laughs> I like that. To make a big yeah. difference. And that's why as Yara, we value knowledge. And we say anything that will make us uh, study the crop more, study the soil more, study the environment more and make us get better yields to the farmers. Right. That is where our interest right. is as a company. And again for a farmer of course that's the most important thing that once I buy this particular crop nutrition program yeah. I'm able to improve my yield. Once I'm able to improve my yield then I can be able also to improve my income. So I think that's really important for a company like Yara to be focusing on the exact needs of our farmers. Because at the end of the day, for me as a farmer, though I'm an agricultural farmer, when I go to the marketplace, I want to fetch pricing. Yeah. I want to get a good pricing from my crops. And if I have more crops from the good yield that I've gotten as a result of using these products, definitely I will come back and buy the next bag of Yara fertilizer. So I think that's the assurance for farmers. Is, uh, as you go on, I know and you'll speak about this, is most farmers, and you've mentioned over and over, is Seed lift is not going to exist as a single, uh, as a single entity. Yeah. They are also on the range of the different um, fertilizers in the program, but also are good for the farmer to be able to use for that optimum yield. So maybe as you continue to share with us and just teach us, maybe you can also touch a little bit about those products. Because even the farmer here said he has used these products for seven years. That's really reassuring for even most of our farmers who are joining and who are listening in. And he mentioned about the Yara, uh, Yara Miller Power, he mentioned about the Amida. So maybe also in your presentation you can be able to teach us more about this product and how they can complete, they will definitely complement the game-changing seed lift. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, you know, when you were asking that question, I was, uh, I was thinking of an analogy of yeah. uh, someone who's had his breakfast. Yeah. If you have uh, a very good breakfast, does it mean that you will forego lunch and supper? <laughs> <laughs> I will definitely because you, <laughs> because you had a very good breakfast. <laughs> so basically, the Yaravita seed leaf is the starting point. Yeah. It's the starting point for our crop nutrition. Yeah. And uh, remember, for a crop like maize, for example, in Wasingishu, this maize will take six months, mm -hmm. all six months in the, in the field. Right. And for these six months, we need to have uh, points where we supplement uh, or the, the crop nutrition, yes. you know, or add something so that the crop can do the six months and give us better yield at the end of the day. Yes. So after we have dressed our our seeds with the uh, Yaravita uh, seed lift, yes. this one takes, uh, by the time you're done dressing, it's, yeah. it's dry. You can go and plant almost immediately. Ah. So it doesn't have, you don't have to wait for one or two hours for it to dry before you put it in your planter. Right. It just takes, uh, within five minutes you're ready to yeah. go planting. So now you, you are, you've gone planting. When you're going to plant, yes. we have our planting fertilizer yeah. uh, as Yara. And uh, our planting fertilizer for maize is called Yaramila Power. Power right. uh, Yaramila Power is a bag that is uh, just here before me. Yes. Uh, with a composition of uh, uh, 1324 uh, 6, and we've added uh, uh, sulfur, magnesium, and zinc. Right. So, what, what are we looking at with this? You know, I, I remember when I, was, when I joined Yara, I was doing a research on, on this product. Right. And uh, the reason why I was doing a research on this product was many yeah. farmers had this notion that you need high phosphorus yeah. uh, for you to have better yields. And so we had the DAPs in the market, yes. you know, the commodities, 46% of phosphorus. And said, if I put this, my crop will really come yeah, up, yeah. you know. But then as, as we value knowledge in Yara, one of the things that we came to learn yeah. is that it's not the quantity, it's the quality. quality. And then it's not just the quality, it's the availability. Mm -hmm. Because the, the nutrients need to be available for the plants uh, to be able to grow very well. So in Yara Mila Power, our phosphorus, right. we have added a technology, a Yara technology, that's called P-Extend. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, P extend basically means that the phosphorus that we have put, right. though it is 24% yes. phosphorus, yeah. we have put two forms of phosphorus. Right. One which is the orthophosphate, what is in the other uh, fertilizers. Yeah. And then we've added again the P extend phosphorus. Yeah. And this one is available to the plant throughout the entire growing season. Uh, and why is that important? You know, right. in school we were, we were always told, you know, phosphorus is very important for root development. Yes. And every, all, all of us left, you know, high school knew that phosphorus, phosphorus. root development. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, in biology, we used to be taught and uh, something about uh, the energy that the plant requires, yeah. or the, the crops require in botany. Yeah? Right. So they talk about adenosine triphosphate. Yeah. It is the energy right. that drives the processes within the plant. Right. And as the name suggests, adenosine triphosphate, which means that phosphorus is needed throughout the entire crop cycle because it is a key component of the energy that the plant requires, requires for all yeah. the processes, for taking the water and the nutrients from right. the from the soil, right. for photosynthesis, for translocation of those uh, photosynthesis into the right. uh, targeted, uh, you know, yield areas or harvest area. So right. phosphorus is very important, right. and it plays other other key key roles within the plant that uh, we get to learn the more we go deeper in, right. in agriculture. So, right. grow. so when we look yeah. at that, we put the P extend in phosphorus yeah. uh, in Yaramila power so that right. this phosphorus can be available throughout yeah. the entire crop season. Crop season right. And we've done good research and even tested the phosphorus level at different stages of growth, when it's at knee height, when it's uh, at silking, when it's at tire, when it starts silking, silking. Yeah. And uh, we've been able to, to show yeah. That this phosphorus indeed is in the plant, right. and that's one of the reasons why this plant is the like, way it yeah, is. Yeah, I was about and, uh, to ask. <laughs> and if you look at like the one next to you, we have better, good crop roots, you know, right. de developing. Right. And uh, all this is just about the, the planting fertilizer. Yes. So we are not saying that we are not talking about just any planting fertilizer, right. but what value right. is the is the crop getting? Right. Remember, in our in our seed leaf, we have phosphorus and zinc. In our power, we have phosphorus and zinc yeah. because these two nutrients work together. So we are not just putting any nutrient in the fertilizer, yeah. but we are saying they have to complement and supplement, uh, you know, one another right. for good crop development. Yes. So at planting, we are using uh, uh, Yaramila power. For maize, we use a rate of 100 kilograms per yeah. acre. That is equivalent to two, to two bags yes. uh, per acre. Then when we are done with that, yeah. when the crop has uh, uh, grown and it's at the level of four to six leaf stage, right. just when you are about thinking uh, to do your top dressing, yeah. we have another product. Yes. This is called Yaravita Crop, crop Boost. boost. Uh, you, you know, we, we've called it Crop Boost. boost it, yeah. it boosts the crop at, at that time. Right. It's more like an energy drink. You know, sometimes you might, you might have had your breakfast, and yeah. then uh, you, you, you've gone out, you've done some little activities, and you feel like your energy levels are low. Hello, right. You can boost your energy before you go for your lunch. <laughs> you know, so it's the, it's the same analogy that right. we're having, yeah, that yeah. you will, uh, for the crops, at around the four to six leaf stage, we've yeah. introduced this. This is a plant boost. This is right. a foliar fertilizer. Right. And this foliar fertilizer uh, is a... Uh, does not have nitrogen. Right. You know, most of the foliar fertilizers in, in, in the market, they have nitrogen. Right. But again, we're looking at what does the crop require at yeah. that stage, four to six leaf stage. Yes. So these are high phosphorus uh, foliar fertilizer, mm -hmm. and it's also high in, uh, in zinc mm -hmm. as, a, as, a, as a product. So we're looking at about 44% uh, of phosphorus. We're looking at 7% uh, potassium. Yeah. Uh, we are looking at, uh, we're having the potassium, we're having the magnesium and the zinc. Yeah. Remember, phosphorus and zinc work together. Magnesium and potassium work together for better potassium uptake. So right. with this, we are able to give the crop again the energy that it requires yeah. at that stage. So yeah. remember, uh, the energy that it requires for better uh, development. So right. this will also go and push the, the crop to further develop more roots oh. and when we, are, when we are establishing the root system of the crop yeah. we are basically telling the crop that you must be able to uptake yeah. more nutrients and right. water from the environment right. and when that is done we are setting the crop for a better production better remember a crop uh -huh. like maize yeah. uh, the production is determined right. at that stage four to six this stage mm -hmm. if the environment is right at the four to six this stage the maize already tells itself the kind of yield it will have. Uh -huh. If the environment is bad at that time, then the maize sets itself for, for a poor production. Right. So you want to influence it at mm -hmm. the critical decision-making point yeah. that it needs to uh, right. be able to 
So what is coming out also very clearly is that the fertilizers themselves, the way you've designed it is to target the very critical stages of a crop. Yeah. yeah so that if at all it's there, uh, that le like you're saying, at uh, that four to six leaf stage, there are very uh, targeted fertilizer application that needs, that actually the crop needs for it to be able to set itself for higher yield. Maybe the, one of the questions that even me, I struggled with sometimes when I was starting to use this product, how do we apply that particular fertilizer? Uh, the foliar fertilizer. Uh, thank you very yeah. much. So this one we're using a rate of one liter per acre. Mm -hmm. That means like uh, maybe in a pump of 20 liters, yeah. you need around 200 mils. Okay, yeah. Okay, or if right. you are using a knapsack. Yes. Uh, those who are using boom sprayers have a different story to say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but allow me just to talk about, of course, uh, yeah. most of our farmers are right. small scale farmers. Right. Then we have the, like, about 20% who are large scale farmers and right. doing good. Mm -hmm. So. This one, you can mix it also with the pesticides uh -huh. that you, if you're going to do like a round of your, your, your maybe spraying for the fall armyworm, so the African right. armyworm is very compatible mm. with that. So you mix them in the same tank. Right. The advantage of this, this has a sticker. Uh -huh. It also has a wetter. So you don't right. have to buy this yeah. to make the product better stick mm -hmm. on, your, on your leaves. Right. The, this will do the work right. for you. And, and you also mentioned actually something very interesting and I wanted you just to make one second comment around it. Yeah. You said you can mix it with other pesticides. Yeah. If I want to check about the compatibility, I know Yara has invested a lot on that front. Yes. What kind of farmer do you have? <laughs> so we have, the, we have the, the tank mix. As Yara, we have uh, apps. Right. Uh, we, have, uh, we are not only looking at this, we are also growing digitally. Right. We understand that uh, in the near future, if you don't... Uh, move to uh, the digital space, yeah. you might be out of touch yeah. with, 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 with many things. So we right. have an app that we to call it Tank Mix. Right. You can go to your Play Store and yeah. uh, check for Yara Tank Mix. Right. The Yara Tank Mix will be able to tell you right. the, the, all the chemicals, the active ingredients yeah. that are, are compatible yes. with this product. Uh, so that way we will try to make it a bit easy for yeah, us. Yeah, I think that will be very helpful for farmers. Thank you very much for that, Anthony. So, yes, yeah, so we came from Yara Power to power. give the crop that power yeah. to kick off. Yes. And then we came up we, we came after that with Crop Boost yes. to now set it for higher production. Yeah. And then after that? After that we moved to a product that I like very much. It's called Yara Vera Amidas. Uh -huh. Yara Vera Amidas is a, a top dressing fertilizer. Yeah. Uh, this top dressing fertilizer has 40% nitrogen mm -hmm. and 6% sulfur right and the nitrogen are in the two forms of nitrogen the yeah. ammonia and nitrate kind of mm -hmm. nitrogen mm -hmm. that means there's the nitrogen that is readily available to the plant when you apply it right and then there's one that has to be broken down to be available to the plant, to the plant so right what is the advantage of this for for nitrogen to be taken up well yeah we it requires uh, some sulfur in it Right. So sulfur helps with the better utilization of nitrogen. Mm -hmm. And there's normally a ratio, the nitrogen sulfur ratio, that needs to be there either in your fertilizer or in the soil mm -hmm. for better nitrogen uptake. Right. Else, if you just apply nitrogen minus sulfur, mm -hmm. your crop will be green, but yeah. not this deep green. Mm -hmm. For you to get the deep green, right. you have to have the sulfur because sulfur uh, plays a critical role in right. the in the chlorophyll development, mm. which is the green pigmentation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you have a very good green pigmentation, right. and uh, with the light and water coming in from through the roots into the plant, yeah. then we'll have a bigger surface for photosynthesis. Mm. And when that happens, then it means that we'll be having many a product from photosynthesis, mm -hmm. and that will go to uh, the storage area. Like in maize, it mm -hmm. will be the grains. Yeah. So here we have. A product that is high in nitrogen, yeah. and uh, you know, urea has about 46% nitrogen. Right. And uh, if you compare this product to urea, urea will quickly get lost into the environment right. through a what we call sublimation or volatilization right. back into the environment. But if you look at the rate at which the nitrogen in the amidas is lost back into the environment, right. is way minimal compared mm -hmm. to that of the urea. Right. So the way we've compounded this product, it means that then most of that nitrogen yeah. will be available. For the plant right and uh, as you can see I, right. I think you can see that the plant has taken up uh, quite a, a bit of this uh, uh, nitrogen yeah so it's a it's a fertilizer that we use for top dressing mm -hmm. and uh, in areas like now where we are in Wasingishi, where the, yeah. it's a six months crop yes. we 
uh, advice and it for two applications. Wow. So a, a split application right. of the top dressing fertilizer. Yeah. So this we use a, a rate of uh, 100 kilograms per acre. 100 kilograms, 100 per, kilograms acre. per acre. Yeah. That is two bags per acre. Right. And uh, you can decide to split that. Uh, okay. You know, at the first of dressing about knee high, yeah. use uh, 50 or 75 or the second uh, uh, top dressing yeah. just before tasseling, before right. the, the crop tassels. Right. Yeah, you put the second top dressing and we use the, the remaining rate, right. uh, one bag. Mm -hmm. So that way what you're just basically trying to, to say for crops that take longer, yeah. like this six months crop, uh, if we do everything at once, right. the crop might not be able to benefit from the entire oh, yeah. nutrition. Some of it may get lost through right. the nitrogen losses. Right. But if we split it, then the crop can take up most of the nitrogen. The nitrogen. So we are, what we are trying to do is avoid nitrogen losses. Yeah. Yeah. That's why you are splitting it and then ensure that the crop will benefit more yeah. from that nitrogen. Right. So we split the application. Wow. Thank you. Thank you very much. So maybe as we kind of just close this down and then of course invite uh, any questions that maybe are coming from our farmers who are joining us online. Maybe there is the comparative between this particular farm and the other farm that is on our extreme left. I don't know whether you can make any comments maybe around that of course with reference to the magical seed leaf. Well, w my comment is uh, simple this way. Uh, as far as plants are concerned, we right. normally say that crops will speak out. <laughs> if, if, if there's a deficiency, it will tell you through the leaves or through the stem. Right. Uh, the crops will all, and if it is also getting something in yeah. adequate supply, it yeah. will tell you through the same leaves and stems. So yeah. if you look at this crop on, on this side, where we right. are standing, and right. look at uh, the deep greenness, you look at the stem gut, the, yeah. the stem, whatever, the succumbs friends. Yeah. You're looking at how thick the, 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 the thing stem. is. Yeah. When you go to the roots, the propus, and you look at it, yeah. it's just telling you that this crop is enjoying good nutrition. Right. And of course, with good uh, rain and water uh, from 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 above. Right. If you look on the other side, yeah. that is a clear indication yeah. that there's something that crop has missed. Right. That this got. Mm -hmm. Planted on the same day. Yeah, yeah. You know? In the same in condition. the same condition. Right. Enjoying the same weather. Right. But the difference is yeah. the nutrition practices. Right. Remember Sierra, we have a mission of responsibly feeding the world, the world yes. by taking care of the environment. Right. How will we do it? by bringing crop solutions, nutrition solutions, yeah. that will increase the right. yield right. that can match the growing population. Right. And uh, that crop, yeah. there's something that is as luck. Yeah. We did that crop, they did use seedling on that. Right. And so we did get the initial yeah. good growth yes. that seed leaf gave this crop. Right. And that's what we are advocating and telling the farmers, yes. and even those watching me online, right. that seed leaf Yaravita seed leaf is the way to go right. if you intend to increase your yield right. for your cereal crops. Yara Vita seed leaf is the product to go if you want to improve your yield. So as we kind of bring this to a close, our viewers, thank you for taking the time to join us. Thank you for listening. I'm really grateful for all the questions that came in. I think there are also there are actually more comments actually that have been coming in and people are just saying informative, very impressive. And I can see, oh, Caleb Karuga Mkulima also is joining in. Thank you for finding time to join in and everyone else who's joined us. So I think uh, as we kind of come to an end, and uh, one of the things I think has come out very, very clearly is the comparative between the Yara program and the standard program. And the missing link, like we've realized, is the Yara Vita seed lift. And I think you've rightfully said that for you to be able to optimally improve your yield, you need Yara seed lift but one thing that i think i also liked is you said we need it in small quantities but to have a bigger impact i think that's really 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 helpful so maybe as we kind of just bring this to a, to a close some of the key things i think farmers are following up on is availability of these products where can they get this product so maybe you can make a comment around what are some of the ways if farmers want this product does, does yara have a toll free number can they go to their nearest agrovet, are there numbers of people that they can contact for them to be able to get this particular product? Thank you very much. Uh, to start with, uh, I'll mention, uh, since we are on a Facebook Live yeah, broadcast, yeah. 
and we have a uh, Yara Kenya page right. in Facebook. Yeah. You can easily give us a shout out where you are, right. and then uh, someone will respond and yeah. tell you the nearest agrovet or yeah. nearest distributor to where you are, mm -hmm. who will where you'll be able to get the particular right. product that you want. Mm -hmm. Again, I said we are moving digital, so yeah, yeah. it's important. So that's the right. easiest and quickest way to know where to get this in your locality right. uh, if you're online. Else, uh, as yeah. Yara, we have a distribution uh, channel, a yeah. distribution system. Mm -hmm. As I had mentioned earlier, we have those who buy products uh, from us to trade in. Yeah. So in almost every county in Kenya, not all, but almost every country, yeah. county, where we are having uh, crop production, right. we have stockists, we have distributors. Right. So who are stocking all these our products? Right. So from the seed lift, all the way to uh, top dressing. So I can talk of in terms of availability. Right. We are ready. We <laughs> have the quantities. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we are ready to supply. Great. Supply. Thank you. I see there are so many other comments and questions from farmers. Maybe. This, maybe you can answer this generally, right. but we have uh, Lemash Kipuri, and Lemash Kipuri is asking, you, okay, first of all, he's saying you are doing a good job. Thank you. So, and then the question is, do you have any fertilizers for tobacco? So maybe you can also mention the other target pro, uh, crops that the other fertilizers have. Uh, very impressive. For tobacco top dressing, currently, we are using a fertilizer called uh, Yara Mila Wina. Yeah. Uh, but uh, if I may just jump the gun a little, in our, in our neighboring country in Tanzania, right. we have a special product. We call it My Tobacco mm -hmm. uh, in Tanzania. So yeah. currently, we, as he said, we are uh, uh, in the process of uh, trying and testing the same yeah. uh, in Kenya, in the tobacco growing areas. You know, this year we are talking about South Nyanza, yes. where we have tobacco. We are talking about Western, where we have tobacco. We have right. a little tobacco in Meru. Right. So we are in, in the face of doing some trials in, in this region. Right. And then we'll see if we'll be able to release the my tobacco in yeah. Kenya too. But in short, what I'm trying to say is that We've got you covered for right. your tobacco nutrition. Thank, Thank you, you very much. And maybe the other reassurance you can give other farmers, horticultural farmers like me, yeah. you also have other pro the other target products for horticultural farmers. Uh, definitely, I say because today you're standing behind a maize plantation, yeah. I gave you the maize kind oh, of products. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But if you are standing on a tomato uh, field, we right. have we have uh, not only the product that right. we use in uh, tomato mm -hmm. or horticulture. But we also have the program. Remember, right. when it comes to uh, crop nutrition, yes. we talk of the four R. You have to have the right fertilizer. Right. You have to have it at the, the right, right time. time. Mm -hmm. Then you have to have it at the right placement. Right. And you have to have it at the right rate. Right. So right. we have a, a, a crop nutrition program yeah. that tells you you need like like we said here. This goes at. Uh, the seed dressing, yeah. uh, the seed leaf seed dressing, power at, uh, uh, you know, planting, crop yeah. boost at four to six leaf stage, yeah. amidas at the first dressing. and second of dressing. Yes. That's a crop program. Right. So when it comes to tomato, yeah. what do you do at, uh, when you're doing your transplanting? Mm -hmm. Or when you're doing establishing the tomato in the nursery bed, what are you going to use? Right. When you're doing transplanting, what are you going to use? Right. You know, as the plant progresses, four, four weeks after that, what yeah. are you going to use? So we have also a crop nutrition program right. uh, with our Yara product. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. I think th thanks for that very informative uh, answer. Like I said, it's streaming with lots and lots of questions. Maybe let me just also give um, another a few people shout outs. You can see Ruben Reukip, and Ruben is saying Yara micro planting and Yara Amidas works wonders on my farm. Very quality products. Thank you. I also have, uh, let me see, I saw another interesting comment here. David Maina, and David Maina is saying hi great crop up there so he's already just appreciating uh, these particular crops that are right Thank behind you. us so i think um as we kind of come to an end and um maybe uh, you, you 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 you've explained very very well and very clearly the advantages and the importance of using the yara crop uh, program you mentioned also about the availability for farmers for them to be able to access this particular product but i think for me one of the key things that uh, stands out because again for farmers the most important is can I improve my yield and can I improve my income?
And that is the reassurance that I think you've given us in the advantages that these crops have. So maybe, I mean, that these fertilizers have. Maybe as we kind of just wrap up, your last words to our farmers who have been very patiently watching and viewing and those, of course, who will view this particular content afterwards on the Yara social media pages. What would be your words in the context of this program, but also, of course, highlighting more on uh, Yara Vita seed lift? Well, my final comments will be gone are the days when we did farming as a hobby. I farmed because my father farmed. <laughs> you know, we are in the days when we look at farming as a, as a business, yes. a business venture. It's an yes. agribusiness. Yes. We say farming is the green gold. Yeah. And for you to be able to mine the goodness uh, or, the, or, or the benefits of the green gold, yeah. then you must go deeper. Right. You know, because the gold is hidden deeper. Yes. If you look at this crop nutrition program, is yeah. is way uh, beyond what the normal farmer uses. You know, right. they use uh, probably the DAP and the CAN, yeah. two nutrients, nitrogen right. and and phosphorus. phosphorus. They are done. <laughs> but here we've increased the nutrient range. Right. Because if we supply what the crop need and is lacking, then yeah. you're going to get a higher yield. So yes. we are already setting ourselves for greater a greater yield. Right. So my advice to the farmers is let us look at farming as a business. For everything that you're inputting in your farm, yeah. you need to have a better output. Right. And that's what we say with uh, the seed lift in maize, 5.1% yeah. yield increase. We are still continuing with the research and see. Last year we know how the weather was. Yes. We still got 5.1. Right. This year we know how the weather is. Yes. We, are, we want to see what will be the percentage yield increase. Right. And when the weather is all optimum, how will you, what percent yield increase will you be able to have right. with this? So for us to increase our uh, yield, yes. which in turn is going to lead to a better income, yes. then we have to rethink Right. our crop nutrition program right. and go with Yara fertilizer. Right. We say Mbolea and Yara yes. for improved yield right. and improved quality. Remember, when you harvest this maize, you are going to eat it. Yeah. So if you're only giving two nutrients, you'll only be taking two nutrients. Right. But if you give it a range of nutrients, you'll right. be having a balanced, uh, you know, a balanced uh, maize uh, output. So right. what we are looking at is farming as a business mm -hmm. and we are saying Yara is the partner. To right. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Like you've rightfully heard it, Yara is your partner if you want to improve your yield, if you want to improve the quality of your produce, but also if you want to improve your income. So thank you very much our viewers who joined us and those of course who will watch this video at a later date. Thank you for your time and we appreciate you and for of course your indulgence. Thank you for of course all your questions and thank you teacher Anthony. You've been great, you've been amazing. Our viewers and it was very interactive with all of them uh, giving their feedback like David De De Dennis who said he has used Yara Microbe and he has used Amidas and he's seen the experience. So thank you very much for taking us through the, uh, the different products that Yara has. I think the reassurance that you've given to our farmers is that yes, when you choose Yara, you are choosing quality. When you choose Yara, you are choosing that improved production. When you choose Yara, you're also responsibly feeding the world by making sure you also preserve your, uh, your media of planting, which is the soil, which I think is very, very powerful. So thank you very much. Until next time, please follow, follow all the Yara uh, Facebook pages, Twitter, YouTube so that then you can be able to get more and more information. Kwa wale wakulima mbao labda mlijunga nasi, labda ni wazungumze kaluga ya kiswaili kidogo. Asante ni sana, imekuwa ni siku njema, tumejifunza mambo mengi. Na mwalimu wetu wameweza kuzingatia na, ku, na kutueleza na kurodesha yale uh, mbolea mbali mbali ambao unaweza kutumia katika ukulima wako ama katika upanzi wako wa mahindi. Lakini pia mweza kazingatia sana kwa, uh, kwa kirefu akitaja ile mbolea mpya ambayo inaitwa Yara Vita Seed Lift ambayo ni mbolea mpya ambayo imeletwa ambayo inatumika katika ile seed coating deposa uweze kusaidia ile mmea wako ama ile mbegu napoipanda kuna yale ambayo ameorodhesha ambayo ni advantages ya kutumia hii mbolea kwa hivyo angalia katika agrovet leo karibu nawe usilale mbolea ni yara vita seed lift katika hiyo uh, panzi bora kwa hivyo asanteni sana Hakikisha umeweza kuyafuata yale eh, Facebook uh, yale pages zote za Yara katika mitandao. Labda angalia Yara Twitter, angalia pale kwenye Facebook na pia kwenye YouTube. Asante sana kwa muda wako na mpaka wakati mwingine kipitia Yara kwa sababu mbolea ni Yara and with Yara knowledge grows.
Asante sana mwalimu.